Hey everyone, this is Mark Marshall with ProAudioFiles.com and GuitaristMarkMarshall.com. I was thinking a lot this week about overdrive pedals and whether placing an EP booster before the overdrive pedals would change the character of the overdrive. Now what I mean is um, by setting up the overdrive pedal so it's at lower gain and using the EP booster to really hit the pedal so it gets more gain versus just cranking up the gain knob on the overdrive pedal itself. Sometimes I notice that when I'm using a singular overdrive pedal for a more of a heavier overdrive sound, uh, it starts to get compressed as I push up the, the gain knob, so I'm always searching for ways to combine pedals so that the signal doesn't get quite as compressed and saturated sounding. In the examples you hear, I didn't really get like a super heavy overdrive pedal, but I think that we could still hear the differences when I AB them. And with this example, I'm using the EP booster from Exotic, and uh, I left both the dip switches in their factory position, which is uh, 3 dB boost on and the bright switch on. I was using that in front of this Effectrode tube drive pedal. Uh, I was using basically two different settings on it. Now, I should note that I did swap out the top 12AX7 for a 12AU7. Uh, just for a little bit lower gain because I use it mainly as like a, a preamp just to warm up my tone a little bit Particularly when I'm touring and I'm stuck with backline amps. It may not be my choice. I think there's a difference um, To my ears when the EP booster was paired with the tube drive It was just a little bit more open maybe a little bit more presence and, and, and definitely just a, a tad less uh, a tad less saturation now, We're really splitting hairs here But I really believe when you're recording guitars and really trying to, to get your sounds to, to, to really gel uh, a lot of these small little uh, elements uh, ingredients uh, add up and, and they make a big difference. So it may seem rather minuscule, but I think in the long run, all these things really add up. And I think about them a lot when I'm recording guitars or um, designing a pedal board for a gig. And my pedal arrangements may change, my choices may change, depending on the, uh, the dynamics of the music that I'm playing and the styles. So it's good to know all these little tricks and keep them in your back pocket for when maybe you're, you're using an overdrive sound. You just you need more saturation, but you're just feeling like it just feels too small and too compressed. And, and uh, you can pull this trick out and use it.